everybody, this is Danny again, and I am doing a video on um, how to use a baby's first year calendar. I just thought it would be kind of fun to do this because I had never really heard of these until I got one, and um, then I found out my mom did one for me when I was a baby, so I thought it was kind of cool. Um, so I actually got this at a garage sale for like a quarter or something. Um, and it's made by ECFE, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's like, oh, IECC, but I think it's ECFE too. Um, it's an early childhood committee. Um, so yeah, I just thought this was kind of cool, and this is what it looks like. So it says, baby's first year, a non-dated calendar to record baby's first 12 months. So you can start it whenever your baby's born. There's, you know, there's no specific time that it has to be started. So then, um, this first section um, says when she was born, her time, where she was born, how much she weighed, how long she was, what her hair color was, and what color eyes she has, and then I could write her doctor's name in here. I just don't know how to spell his name, so that is why I haven't written that in there. Um, and I haven't put a picture in here, but I definitely will be doing that. So then she was born in the month of October, and she was born the very last day of the month, so... That's where we are right there. So her due date was October 23rd, so I just wrote that in there. Um, I was induced on the 30th, so I just wrote that in there. And then I wrote baby arrives, 1.21 a.m., baby is born. And in the back of this calendar, there are stickers for like all these special events um, for your baby um, in the first year. So actually while I'm doing this one, I'm going to finish up January and start February's um, record and everything like that. So then, the month of November, um, I could put the birth announcement here, and I will do that. And then it says my footprints, and I was just going to make a copy of what I have for her baby book and put it in here. Um, and then here's the month of November, and I'm pretty sure I wrote in everything that I can remember. Um, this was the first day that we came home. I had a C-section, so we had to be in the hospital for three days. That kind of sucked, but um, I was wrote, brought you home around 2 p.m. and I put the first day home sticker. On um, this Tuesday, um, visitors were Ashley, Carly, Mason, Chelsea, Jeremy, Jace, Kaylee, and Addie. So I just wrote down who visited her that day. The fourth, um, I put the first outing sticker, brought baby girl to Dr. Subway and Shopco with grandma. So she had a doctor's appointment because she lost so much weight when she was in the hospital that they just wanted to make sure that everything was going okay. Um, and then, then the next day we had a well check for her, so I, she got to see the doctor twice. Um, then the Friday of that week um, was our first day alone together. So. That was kind of special because all the other days my mom was around or we had visitors and so we didn't really have alone time with one another so i just thought that was kind of special then the next week we had a well check and then i wrote her weight it was um nine pounds two and a half ounces so we were back to her birth weight um and then i wrote down her next doctor's appointment the 13th we went to where i work and she got to i wrote down all who she met that day the 14th was um, a day my great, her great uncle, my uncle Jason and my aunt Heather came to visit. So I wrote that down. She lost her umbilical cord on the 15th, so I marked that down. So then on the 16th, she got her first full submerged bath. So I used this first bath sticker. On the 17th, I wrote that I think you're starting to smile. Um, so that was kind of fun. And 18th, we are finally getting into a night routine you seem to like. So I started to give her baths like every night at that point because I just wanted her to be able to sleep and I felt like I was doing something wrong because she wasn't sleeping through the night. But I've come to realize that you can't really make your baby sleep through the night. The baby is just going to do whatever they feel like pretty much. The 19th, um, they, she stayed with Grandpa and Grandma Bristol and my mom and dad for an hour while Cody and I went to a place. So that was kind of like our first date. We thought the play was going to be much longer, but it wasn't, so um, she was only with them for an hour. And actually, I need to stop the video right here because she is freaking out downstairs. And my husband's with her, but I don't know what's going on, so I just want to go help him. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I went and checked on everything, and everything's perfectly fine. She's just losing her crap because 
he is having her do tummy time and she absolutely is not having that. So that's all that was happening. Um, I'm actually supposed to be at work right now, but we're having another snow day here in Minnesota. Um, more like a blizzard. It's not that there's so much snow, it's just that there's so much wind and no visibility. So this is the second time in two weeks um, that they've closed the interstate um, and all the highways and I think they're honestly still closed at this point. You basically can't see anything and everyone was going in the ditch and it was just craziness. But I may have like a four and a half foot high drift in our yard um, from all the wind. Not because there's a lot of snow, just the wind is crazy. But anyway, so I think I stopped here. So then the 20th of November I just wrote um, Um, first snowfall of her life, so I just wrote that, that was the first day that it snowed. Um, it didn't appear in the snow till the 20th of November here in Minnesota, so there you go. Um, her, her dad's birthday was the 21st, so I just marked that down. The 24th, um, we got our family Christmas pictures with the Swansons. Oh, actually that didn't happen. Um, the picture lady wouldn't get us in so I'm just gonna mark that off so then uh, but we did go to my husband's work that day so she got to meet all of his co-workers then the 26th was Thanksgiving so I just marked down that um, who we had Thanksgiving with um, that day and then the 29th her cousin Mason was baptized he was born almost a month ahead of her and then the 30th is her one month old um, mark that's what I put anyway and actually her dad's work Christmas party didn't happen that day because there was a blizzard so I can mark that off then the next header of um, the next month this says what's happening what in the world was happening so it says a newspaper headline from the day I was born and I haven't done that I was actually gonna look that up and start writing those things in um, when she was first born I wanted to put in all those things but there were so many new things for me to learn at that point so I just I put it off and I know that I have Google and I can just look up what was in the news that day so I don't have to feel like I missed something just because I didn't write it in the very second that I wanted to. Um, other important items in news, people in the news, I'll just look back around the time she was born and put those things in. Popular songs, movies, and clothing. Again, I'll just look them up and write them in. So then this was the month of December. Uh, she had her two month doctor appointment two month one month one month doctor appointment there um she met santa this day and i believe maybe this this day we had cody's work christmas party but i'm not sure so i'm just not going to write it in then on the 15th um she met my my friend lauren and her son bentley so i marked that down on the 18th you stayed with grandma and grandpa bristol and mom and dad um went on our first night date night out without you. So she was with my mom and dad for till maybe two in the morning or something like that that day. So I just marked that down. On the 20th you went to your first church service. Um, 24th Christmas with Grandpa and Grandma Bristol and the Niemeyers. Then her first Christmas with Great Grandpa Jerry. Um, and my my family we just separate, separated them. Um, with the Niemeyers that's my mom's family. Um, we go over there for Christmas. We always did Christmas Day with my dad's side, which is just my grandpa and grandma. My dad's an only child. So we did that. And then on the 26th, we had Christmas with my husband's family. 28th, um, today you actually enjoyed your mat that you lay on with the toys above you. So apparently I tried to lay her on her mat with like the to toys. It's like a rainbow shaped arch. And I tried to lay her on underneath that a lot and she just doesn't like it. But that's when she started to like it. The top part of the next month is the my growth chart. So you just write um, the day that she was born, all these appointments, um, and then you write the weight and the height. So um, I wrote all of these in and her next appointment as is not there. It's supposed to be there. I wrote that at the wrong spot. Oopsie. She will be at on March 9th 
of this year. She has her four month appointment. Um, she's not going to have a three month appointment, so I probably won't know what she weighs for month three. So I'm actually just going to mark that off. Made a mistake. That's okay. Um, but the last time I got her weighed, she was 13 pounds, 10 and a half ounces, and 24 and a half inches long. So she is a very healthy girl. <laughs> So then this is the month of January and this is kind of where I have faltered with filling these in the best that I best that I could. So on the 7th she had a two month checkup. On the 8th today we are having a party at where I work um, and people will come to meet her. So that's we did that and that was pretty fun for me especially. Um, and then the next week that Friday I had lunch with some friends from work and my boss who is going to be retiring. On the 16th, that's when her first tooth came through, and that's when I first realized that her first tooth came through. And then right around here is when her next tooth started to come through. So I'm going to write next tooth came in. I'm just writing the bottom tooth. Um, because they're the bottom two in the center that came through. I'm actually going to look and see if we got a tooth um, sticker. First sitter, Easter, Valentine's Day, first swim, New Year, doctor's visit, special day, special visitor, Father's Day, Mother's Day, a bunch of symbols for his vacation, finds hands, finds feet. Turns towards the sound, sleeps all night, shakes, rattle, holds up head, sits with help, sits alone, waves goodbye. First tooth. Okay, it's way down here. Oh, she's just losing it down there. I don't know. She's not happy. I feel bad just leaving him down there to fend for himself, but... I wasn't supposed to be here anyway, he'd have to be doing it, so I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. So, as I'm looking through these stickers, I'm realizing that... Oh, I thought maybe he was gonna come and say I need to come down there, but no. Um, as I'm going through these, I'm realizing I missed a bunch, so... Of stickers that I could have put down. So, like the New Year sticker... Was right there. And then I'm just trying to look. Finds feet. She's done that within the month of January. I would say probably around this day. So I'm just going to mark it down. She definitely knows what her hands are now. She looks at them all the time. So. I know that she um, has definitely found them. I just am not 100% sure on the exact date, but I know right around where. She does sleep through the night, um, and she has been doing that since December. So I'm trying to think if she did that before Christmas, and I really do think she did. So I think I am going to put that right around December 11th. Because the first couple of months, month and a half, I definitely was having issues with her sleeping um, through the night. She would, I would get her to fall asleep and she seemed like she was sleeping so soundly. And then she would just, I would pick her up and walk her to her bassinet and I'd go to lay her down. And the second I laid her down, she would just open her eyes and look at you and start screaming. So, that was not very much fun, but we've made it through it. Um, this one's the Turn Towards Sound sticker. She's been doing that for probably since... She would turn towards sound, but like, then she'd just instantly look away. So I think she's probably been doing that consistently since January. And I would dare to sit here around January 3rd. I don't know if a lot of people do this or they just guess around when things happen because I know it's happened. I just didn't have a pen and a paper right there. Um, 
um, to write down the exact day. So hopefully I'm not the only person that does this. Holds up head. Um, she's been doing that pretty much since birth, but not wobbly. I would say since December, and I would say maybe right before Christmas. Maybe the week before that. She's been doing that for a while. She's had a really strong neck. Um, she does shake rattles. And I'm trying to think of when she did that. It was in December because we were, I think we were making like Christmas cookies when she grabbed hold. And we made Christmas cookies the week before Christmas. So I'm going to mark that down there. And sits up with help. She's been doing that since she was born. So can I just put that way up in there? Because she's been sitting up since she was born. Um, first time I put her in something like that was the day we brought her home. But I will, I don't have any, well, I can just sit it right there because I crossed that thing out. Anyway, so we'll just say it was there. Um, sits alone, she doesn't sit alone, she doesn't lie by, she doesn't sit in a high chair, she doesn't eat finger food, drink from a cup, play patty cake. She doesn't talk yet, she doesn't walk. Smiles. She has been smiling meaningfully since... I would say around Thanksgiving. So I'm just gonna put it the day after Thanksgiving because um, I remember being at Thanksgiving and making her smile. And this whole bottle, she started doing that last month. I don't, I couldn't hand her a bottle and have her hold it, but I know that I could, um, I could sit right there and hold her and she'd hold her bottle up. Laughs, she's really close to laughing, imitating sound. Um, she tries to imitate sound, so I'm not going to put that down, I don't think. Um, and this is like, reaches for objects. She reaches for things, but meaningfully, I don't know. I That's what I'm not sure about, if that's what these are supposed to be. So. Um, let's go back to the month of January. So we got our tooth, holds the bottle, and then I worked these days. And I worked that day, and Auntie Allison watches you. Then the 29th was my boss's retirement after 39 years, um, so that was really sad. Um, but Annabelle went to that, and she was the hit of the party. She, everybody just loved her. So then this one is um, the family tree, and then I'm supposed to put a picture of the family here. Um, obviously haven't done that, but that's okay. So then here's the month of February. This is the month that we're in right now. So then February 1st, I wrote, um, Grandma Jackie watched you this whole week, um, and then I was back to work full time. Um, but I didn't have to work Tuesday or Wednesday because of that snowstorm, so I didn't have to go back full time quite yet. February 5th is when I found out I was pregnant with her a year ago, so I just marked that down. And then here's today. Um, I wrote, Dad watched you. Um, actually, I think I'm going to write, snowstorm. Snowstorm. Um, Cody's going to watch her these two days. I'm going to be off this day because that's my birthday. And then Cody's mom's going to watch her these two days. Um, we went to my great uncle Art's 90th birthday party. And saw Grandpa... Jerry, which is my grandpa, but um, then 15th is when she's is the week that she's gonna start daycare, but actually that's a holiday, so she's not gonna start daycare until then. Um, so then we go through, and that's my grandma Phyllis's birthday, my dad's birthday is there, and then I think that's everything for that month that I know so far because we're only right here. So then, 
The next month starts with Home Sweet Home, attached picture here. I'll probably um, put a picture of like when we took her home from the hospital or something like that. So then this next month is March um, of 2016 and she is going to have a doctor's visit on the 9th. And actually, I think I missed... So, okay. Yep, I missed those. So I didn't lay down when she turned like the next month over, like two months or you know, whatever. So I'm just going to... One thing is, is these are kind of hard to grab. So I think I'm just going to grab those two. So she turned two months old on the 31st. She turned three months old on January 31st. Probably can't see me putting those on. And then we'll mark those. And then we have Valentine's Day. Is over here. So I'll mark that. And then the next top of the month is my medical records, so I can write down when she got her vaccinations on and on what date. Um, illnesses, injuries, allergies. She hasn't had any illnesses, has no injuries and no allergies, so I don't have to write anything there yet. But she has been getting her shots, and they're awful. But I feel like that's something you need to do. So I'll mark those down there. Then I just need to write in April. Then this would be May's top of the calendar. It says some of my favorite things, favorite people and pets, toys and games, songs and stories, food and drink, and times of day. So those are that. Then this one's my family and friends, and it says attach a photo here. So I'll do that that month. This is my first, first smile, hold up my head, laugh, roll over, sleep all night, and then goes on from there. Sit alone, drink from a cup eat solid foods, use a spoon, start creeping, first outing, pull myself to stand, um, to a stand, stand up holding on, stand alone, my first words, my first steps, my first haircut, and walk alone. So that's kind of fun, but they go right along with all those stickers. Um, my travel and trips, put a picture here, who I saw and what I did, so maybe that month um, will be the month we go on our vacation, and I can put a picture of that up there. And it says, I'm one of a kind. What tickles my funny bone? What my amusing antics? And what's my personality like? So when I blow on her stomach, she almost giggles. So maybe that'll be something all right there. My first birthday. So then it says, who came to my party and to put a picture? So this must be the month of October then. We must be all the way through again. Um, then this says, important phone numbers. So I just wrote down um, aunts and uncles and their phone numbers. I put grandparents over here and their phone numbers, the sheriff's department phone number and our town's police um, department phone number. And then here's just the page of stickers. So I still have quite a few. I have an Easter and Halloween um, sticker and special day stickers, special visitor stickers, Father's Day, Mother's Day, and then just some like decorative type of stickers. And then these are all the like milestone stickers down here. So, and then this is just like calendar of 2015 through 2016. So you know what days of the week um, the numbers fall on. So that's just kind of this calendar. I think it's a really cool thing to do if you want to just have some something quick to do a journal um, entry in on your baby's first year. But I also have a baby book here and that's going to be my next video. So make sure you hit the like button. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, make sure to check out my other videos and hit the subscribe button and I'll try to be putting up videos pretty regularly, hopefully one a week to start with um, and then the more ideas and things that I come up with, the more videos I'll put up. Uh, and when I do hit 100 subscribers, I am going to do a giveaway. So just make sure you put your name into the drawing. Thanks and we'll see you next time.